Good morning. Thanks for starting your day with Denver 7 News. I'm Molly Hendrickson. And I'm Brian Sanders. Let's get right to our top stories. The U.S. is expected to recommend vaccine booster shots for all Americans. That recommendation will be for a third dose eight months after the second shot. The decision is based in part on research out of Israel, which shows the Pfizer vaccine is less effective over time. The New York Times reports the first booster shots could be available in mid-September, although thousands of people have already received a third dose without any government approval. Breaking news out of Loveland. Police shot a man in his own backyard. Officers were initially called for a disturbance at the house off Tennessee Street. They found a man with a knife. What immediately happened next is not clear, but police say the officer fired several shots and hit the man. That man is now hospitalized. No officers were hurt. Fort Collins police will investigate the shooting. Colorado's Division of Fire Prevention and Control is getting a new tool to help fight wildfires. They signed a contract with Inglewood-based United Rotorcraft for a $24 million state-of-the-art helicopter. It's outfitted with a 1,000-gallon water tank, a retractable snorkel that can refill the tank in less than a minute, and a rescue hoist. In addition to attacking wildfires, it can transport up to 12 firefighters to the fire line and rescue people when needed. Here's meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo with your Denver 7 forecast. It is going to be another hot one. We hit low to mid 90s yesterday and we're on track to see the same thing today. Upper 60s right now in Denver. We're looking at a big warm up early on. Should be by midday already at our normal high for the day. Right around 88 to near 90 by noon. And then we'll hit highs right around 95 in Denver. Some near triple digit heat to the northeast and southeast and more 80s again in through the mountains. Now because of the heat and some of the, the ground level ozone, we're under another ozone action day alert. It covers the entire north northern front range all of the metro area and from Castle Rock north up through Fort Collins. There is going to be a better chance for some thunderstorms starting tomorrow.